Hi everyone, my name is Miguel Martinez. I'm a Senior Product Marketing Manager on the Power BI team. And today I'm gonna to walk you through a Power BI overview. Uh, the session objectives that we have for today is provide that overview uh, from a user experience perspective. We're gonna list our unique differentiators and we're gonna highlight uh, our commitment to compliance, security, and privacy. Uh, so let's get started. We live in a world of unprecedented change. In the 1920s, the average lifespan of a company on the S&P 500 was nearly 70 years. In the 80s, the average lifespan dropped to 25 years. Today is less than 15 years and continues to decline. In the next decade, 75% of companies in the S&P 500 will be companies that are not on the index today. To be successful in, in this world of change, organizations will need to develop data, a data culture, creating an environment where every team and every individual is empowered to do great things because of the data at their fingertips. In a data culture, everyone benefits uh, when more people can ask questions, get answers. Uh, in a data culture, the entire effectiveness on an organization can elevate. This is especially true when every employee can harness the power of data, once only reserved for data scientists and IT, and tap into the power of natural language, self-service business insights, and visualization capabilities. With the right tools, insights can come from anyone, anywhere, at any time. When that happens, organizations develop what we describe as a data culture. Building a data culture has a tangible impact on the bottom line. Here are some numbers that help bring some perspective to that transformation. According to IDC, organizations that can analyze all relevant data and deliver actionable insights will achieve an extra 430 billion combined in productivity benefits by 2020. According to Keystone, organizations evolving how they leverage data, analytics, and the cloud generate an average of an extra 100 million, or 8 percentage points, in operating income every year. These improvements are a result of using analytical insights to transform business processes in areas like customer service or operations, for example. Here we can see a list of companies using Power BI today. You can see that they span across industries and different geographies. Some of the ones that we like to highlight here because we have great customer stories that you can read and share with your customers are KineMetal or Metrobank. Uh, but it's not only the companies that are using Power BI. If we look at specific numbers uh, that we have for the service today, you can see that these are uh, insanely big. For example, we have 11.5 data models hosted in the Power BI service, uh, 63,000 votes uh, for features that have shipped, uh, driving innovation from the customer perspective, uh, 2 million plus reports and dashboards, uh, queries per hour, uh, or 10 million monthly published web views. So these numbers actually highlight uh, the volume and the success of Power BI. But not only that, if you look at the market itself and, and research firms like Gartner, uh, they have placed Power BI in the leader quadrants for 11 years in a row. And you can see that uh, the vision um, score that we get uh, is it's a reflection of that innovation that you see in the product month over month. So let's take a look at Power BI. Power BI has in its DNA the goal of enabling everybody to experience their data in any way, anywhere, in seconds and at a global scale. Power BI offers a set of capabilities that are uniquely enabled uh, by its global and cloud nature. Number one, the ability to harness data from Excel spreadsheets, on-premise data sources, through the data gateway, big data, streaming data, and cloud services, any type of data. It doesn't matter uh, what type of data you want or where it lives, Power BI allows you to connect to hundreds of data sources. Out of the box, uh, SaaS content packs, or apps for services, that deliver a curated experience with pre-built dashboards to get you up and running quickly. Uh, we have hundreds of ISPs building apps to cater the needs of millions of Power BI users. Also, an unmatched, unique ways for users to experience their data with speed and agility, uh, like dashboards that maintain a real-time pulse of the business and provide critical insights, natural language query that enables users uh, to simply and intuitively ask questions of the data, including an experience through Cortana. We have custom visuals that bring data to life and service intelligence hidden in the sea of data, uh, with our community leveraging the Power BI visualization stack to create new ways to visualize data in a way that makes more sense. We also have integration with Microsoft products and services. Power BI is part of a larger ecosystem that integrates with services like Microsoft Teams, Office 365, and Dynamics 365. These services are aware of Power BI, are wired to Power BI, and enable uh, users uh, to take the data and visualize it in Power BI in the context of their work. 
Also, you can access insights anywhere, um, whether in the office or on the go, Power BI provides anywhere access to insights with dashboards accessible via desktop, on the web, or across mobile devices. Inside Excel, we can embed Excel reports and have hundreds of ISBs embedding Power BI into their offerings. So let's take a look at some specific uh, features that I already mentioned uh, in more detail. Uh, so you can be aware of some of the differentiations that we have versus uh, other BI solutions in the market. Number one, ease of use. You can get started in minutes. With the apps for services that I mentioned before, you can bring data just logging in into that particular source and we have pre-built dashboards, reports, and models uh, for users to take advantage of without needing to do anything else besides that. The other um, feature that we have, it's um, Q&A. You can ask questions from your data in real time. Just type a question and Power BI will show you a visualization on the fly uh, to showcase the, the most important data points in that particular model. We also have Quick Insights, which is basically an automatic way to go into a data model and highlight uh, what are the things that define the changes or the anomalies within that uh, particular data model. Uh, so based on statistical algorithms that run into that data model, uh, Power BI will surface visualizations that highlight those uh, anomalies or those differences, uh, giving the users the option of actually bringing those visualizations back into the reports and dashboards. We also have the support of real-time data, and this is a big one uh, because literally nobody else uh, in the market has this uh, capability today. So you can hook up Power BI to streaming data sources. Of course, we support Azure, uh, but also any other type of streaming data that you can pull into the Power BI APIs and visualize that in real time. So you're not looking only at what happened in the past, but you can also see what is happening now and potentially predict what is gonna happen in the future. We also mentioned custom visuals, and it's important to stop here and realize that there's no option that any data visualization tool in the market can have every single visualization needed by every company in every industry. The way we tackle that is building open source visualization stack that allows uh, developers and companies to come in and create visualizations like the one that you're seeing on the slide here, which is an airplane engine, and uh, make that an interactive visualization with the data on those models. Uh, since that is a, it, it's an open source stack, people can come in and create any sort of visualization they want. Uh, not only that, actually, we allow the community to publish into the custom visuals gallery, which lives in app source, uh, for other users to take advantage of those visuals. And this enables solutions like um, our uh, base visuals, where before you would actually need to know how to write an R script to display that visual. Now you have drag and drop experiences that allow you to do the same things. We mentioned before the integration with other uh, Microsoft products, but here you can see a glimpse of what that looks like, and we'll look at that in the demo. Uh, the most important ones are, of course, Excel as a data source and to consume models that live in Power BI to have that one version of the truth, embedding Power BI reports in SharePoint and Microsoft Teams to have uh, conversations or to have reports uh, that live in the context of what people are doing every day, and of course, Power Apps and Flow uh, with uh, solutions like the Power Apps Custom Visual um, and uh, managing subscriptions and alerts through Flow for Power BI data changes. After that, uh, we have the mobile apps, uh, which because of time we can not demo here, but think about the mobile apps as a customized experience for each device and OS in those mobile devices uh, that allows you to tap into the same features that you see in, in Power BI, the service in Power BI Desktop. You have Q&A, you have quick insights in the form of chat, uh, like you're seeing here on the slide. Uh, you also have the option when you're authoring reports and dashboards to customize those uh, objects for being better consumed in, in, in mobile devices. So now let's talk about Power BI Desktop, which is a key part of the Power BI suite. Uh, Power BI Desktop is a self-service BI tool designed to allow users to pull data together from uh, multiple different data sources. They can later transform and clean data, model, and add custom calculations uh, or measures. Uh, and then visually explore and create interactive reports that can easily be published and shared through the Power BI service. In addition, you can now create your own custom visualizations through the open source framework that I mentioned before. 
For discovery and exploration, uh, Power BI Desktop has an integrated experience for connecting and preparing data uh, for visual data exploration. You also have EC report authoring in a freeform canvas uh, that you can drag and drop visuals and, and fields and create your own reports. Uh, we have the custom visualizations, we have R integration where you can either bring the custom visuals that work with R or actually use uh, R scripts to connect, clean up data, create forecasts, or even create your own R visualizations. So now let's talk about Excel because it has a very close connection to Power BI Desktop. Excel is the world's most flexible and widely used data analysis tool. It provides familiarity and flexibility when working with data in the context of a grid and native charts and graph. Excel uniquely allows users to perform ad hoc analysis, blending structured and unstructured data together in the familiar Excel environment. It's important to mention the relationship between Excel and Power BI Desktop. They both share the same engine for data preparation, formerly known as Power Query, and for data modeling, which in Excel, in Excel is called Power Pivot. That has the advantage that users can get uh, familiar with Power BI Desktop very quickly because they already have those experiences in Excel. Uh, other interactions with Excel that are important are, for example, a one-click publish option uh, from Excel Desktop into the Power BI service, so users can consume embedded uh, Excel uh, worksheets. Uh, you can also pin components from Excel into a Power BI dashboard. Um, and also at the end that we will show in the demo, you can consume uh, data from Power BI models directly from Excel. Okay, so let's take a look at the different specific components and licenses that we have in Power BI. So we just showed you Power BI Desktop. Uh, that is a completely free downloadable tool from powerbi.com. There's no cost involved for customers there. Uh, then we have Power BI Pro, which is, we also call the Power BI service. That's where you share and collaborate. Uh, so it's a cloud-based modern business analytics solution. And then we have an add-on called Power BI Premium where the capabilities of Power BI Pro are extended or amplified depending on the needs from our customers. So let me talk a little bit more about Power BI Premium. So it builds on the existing Power BI portfolio uh, and it provides dedicated resources in the Microsoft Cloud for uh, any organization uh, to use exclusively. Uh, some of the things that Power BI Premium offers is uh, to license by capacity, uh, so giving more flexibility to organizations uh, to get Power BI to a broader set of people with access to critical intelligence without requiring a per user license like Power BI Pro. Uh, Power BI Premium provides also greater scale and performance. With dedicated hardware resources in the Microsoft Cloud, fully managed by Microsoft, uh, for that organization to use exclusively. Also, Power BI extends uh, on-premises capabilities. Specifically, it includes uh, in the license Power BI Report Server that allows the deployment and distribution of interacting Power BI reports and traditional paginated reports, uh, formerly um, known and in SSRS, uh, completely within the boundaries of uh, the customer's organization and firewall. And it is compatible, as I mentioned, with SSRS. And last but not least, it's important to highlight um, what Power BI uh, offers uh, around compliance, security, and privacy. All of these are covered in, in different, different dimensions of Power BI for all of the offerings that we mentioned before. Uh, for example, in compliance, uh, in the Microsoft Trust Center, you can check all the different certifications that Power BI has. When it comes to security, Power BI offers role level security in your models that actually um, data analysts can build into their models with a specific logic, or you can transfer the security that you already have in other tools, especially Microsoft services uh, and tools, uh, but also from, let's say, any other uh, database that you're using as a source for Power BI. And last, we have privacy, uh, where that is reflected in several ways uh, in, in the Power BI offerings. Uh, the most important ones are, are national clouds, where in specific geographical locations, uh, we offer customers uh, a fully third-party managed uh, by local uh, personnel uh, access to the Power BI service. We have those in, one in Germany for EU, uh, compliance, we have one for US government, and we have one uh, in China. Um, other things that Power BI allows you to do regarding privacy are, for example, uh, all the different logs, all the different security that it's embedded in all Power BI services that can be accessed through the uh, Power BI Admin Center and through the Office 365 Admin Center. So now let's take a look at what's coming in the Spring 2018 update. We are now taking the next step, introducing the Power BI Common Data Service for Analytics. 
Consider the volumes of data continuing to permeate the average enterprise, approximately 350 terabytes, and the equally growing number of services and apps housing this data in silos, with more than 60% of organizations identifying the ability to find correlations across disparate data sources as their top priority, it is easy to see the vast, often untapped potential. Traditionally, solving for this quote-unquote big data challenge consisted on connecting a series of complex data warehousing processes to ingest, store, transform, and map the data, all before applying business analytics to extract the actionable value. Architecting this process requires significant investment, time, and a specialized team with a unique skill set. It takes months, and it has high risk of failure due to the complexities and changing business needs by the time the solution is actually uh, ready to use. This process is normally referred to as data warehousing. We have now expanded Power BI to make it easier for users to create a self-service data warehouse. Power BI now includes additional storage and the ability to ETL any data directly into an expanded storage within Power BI. We have also included a standardized schema that customers can leverage to integrate data, reducing the time, effort, and specialized skills needed to model and interconnect all the data. We have also added the ability for Power BI users to infuse machine learning and enrich their big data with advanced analytics without the need to write code or set up additional subscriptions or purchase licenses. We are able to bring this to bear by leveraging Microsoft's common data model to define standard business entities spanning across various business processes called the Common Data Service for Analytics. It enables organizations to aggregate all the organization's data into a self-service data lake using a standardized schema and gain out-of-the-box insights that can be easily customized and extended. CDS for Analytics integrates self-service data lake capabilities directly within Power BI. Coupled with the services visualization and modeling capabilities, CDS for Analytics adds the ability for organizations to, first, break data silos by aggregating data across your organization with pre-built connectors from Microsoft and third-party data sources, and apply a standardized, extensible business application schema built on the Microsoft Common Data Model. Second, accelerate insights by leveraging Power BI as a complete big data analytics solution, empowering all users with no code access to advanced analytics and additional insights from exclusive Microsoft data. And third and last, customize and extend their BI solution. This includes access to pre-built Power BI apps that can be personalized to meet the unique business needs, as well as the ability to scale to any data or workload requirement and harness the power of Azure for additional services and capability. From business users and analysts to BI professionals and developers, Power BI is the single platform to access insights and make faster decisions across your organization. Okay, now let's take a look at a quick demo to see some of these features in action. So I'm here in Power BI Desktop, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Get Data. You're going to see uh, several options. If you click on More, you can see the hundreds of data sources that we support. In this particular case, I'm going to go to an Excel file, uh, which is called Sales Performance Data. I'm going to open, and then what Power BI Desktop is going to do is going to show me a preview of all the tables that I have available, and I can actually click on them and see how the data looks. Um, if I select any of these tables, I'm actually going to bring it in. I have two options. One is I can load directly into the data model, or I can edit. So let's uh, play around a little bit with that table to show you some of the uh, data cleanup capabilities that we have. Um, a very easy one is that you can right click on a column, for example, and you can remove it. Uh, you can see that we're saving the steps here. So every time you refresh this from the Power BI service, uh, all the same query steps are being replicated. If you remove that step, everything goes back to normal. Some of the things that you can do here, you can filter, you can uh, add columns based on some sort of logic, you can define the data type, you can replace values, so on and so forth. Now let's take a look at what a final model and visualization for the report looks like. Uh, here we have a Power BI report. Uh, it's full interactive. It's based on a model behind the scenes that was brought in with the experience that I just showed you. Uh, so let's take a look at that. If we look at the diagram view, you're going to see all the tables from that uh, same Excel file, uh, and the, we have relationships between them. Uh, Power BI actually tries to detect these relationships automatically, and this is the way it pops up uh, after you do that. You can always go and create your own relationships, edit them on the relationships menu, or double clicking on one uh, to see what are the things and what is happening in this particular relationship. The other things that you can do if you go to the model, you can change data types, you can uh, add calculations, 
applications uh, using DAX language, which is the same one that is used in Power Pivot, uh, so on and so forth. So there's a lot of flexibility here. Now, let me go to the report again and let's add one visualization. So if I create a new page and I double click on the blank canvas, you're gonna see the Q&A experience popping up right away. Uh, I'm gonna show it here in desktop, it's the same one in the service. So why don't we do something like total sales? And then what Power BI is gonna do is gonna search the model for all the uh, fields that match sales. In this particular case, we only have one, so I'm gonna click it. And then we're gonna get a card with the actual number because there's no other way to show that information. What happens if we do something like by region? And then you're going to see the visualization actually changing based on the fields available. This is the one that you can modify. You can actually change the type of visualization, let's say, to a tree map. And you can start building a report just asking questions instead of dragging and dropping, which is the other option. Now let's take a look at what an actual report looks like in the service. So here we are looking at a report in the service. Same experience, if I click on any of these uh, um, visuals, everything is gonna get cross-filtered. Um, what happens if I wanna build a dashboard? Uh, you select any of these visuals, you're gonna see that little pin button there. If you click it, then you're gonna be able to move that visual into a higher level dashboard, which looks something like this. These are also um, uh, interactive in the way that it shows you, for example, tooltips of the information, and in the way that if you click on one of them, you go to the report where that visual was chosen uh, to come from. Uh, some of the other things that we have available here, uh, if I go to the dashboard, the Q&A experience that I mentioned before up here, um, you can go to your workspaces, which are the ones available for you. Uh, if you create a Microsoft team, we create a workspace in Power BI that matches that team. And actually, if I go to Teams now, you're gonna see that you are able to embed Power BI reports directly into Teams. These are also fully interactive, the same way the other ones that we showed you before work. If I click on Add a Channel, this is where the Power BI channel is actually available for you to do that. Last but not least, uh, let's take a look at uh, what options do we have of using the Power BI data somewhere else. So if I go to a report, you're gonna see that up here you have the option uh, in this LFS to uh, go and analyze in Excel. What that's gonna do is gonna download a connection file that's gonna be opened by Excel, and then if I go to Excel here, you're gonna see that you have that Power BI model available for you to analyze directly in Excel. So in this case, let's use, for example, variance to budget, and maybe I wanna do that by country to create a pivot table. You're gonna see the pivot table being created right here. This model is live. Uh, the data is basically coming um, updated into Excel, so there's no need for you to copy data or put it somewhere else. Last but not least, you can do actually the same thing using the adding uh, for Excel that we call the Power BI Publisher for Excel, um, where you can connect to models the same way with a UI directly from, uh, from the Excel client, or you can actually select some ranges, charts, any Excel object, and pin it back to Power BI. The experience that people are gonna get is that particular Excel report uh, consumed in Excel Online in Power BI, uh, the service. So people can get the same experience that they get in Excel, but as part of uh, Power BI components like reports and dashboards. Okay, so now let's take a look at some resources that you have available to learn more about Power BI. We have aka.ms slash BI, which is our Infopedia site where you're gonna be able to find all the decks for the features that we showed you here. You're gonna find demos and even more information if you need to. Uh, the other big call to action here is if you haven't done so, sign up for Power BI today at powerbi.com and get involved with our community at community.powerbi.com where you can get uh, your questions answered, you can invite your customers to go there. Uh, there's a, a, a big and, and thriving community there uh, waiting to help anybody who wants to get started with Power BI. And that would be it for today. Thank you so much.